Tuesday or Thursday or Friday? What's the date? Is it the 21st, 23rd? If you're anything like me, you don't have any trouble remembering the year nor the month, but you do have trouble sometimes remembering the day and the date. What you need and what I need is a perpetual calendar. What's a perpetual calendar? I'm glad you asked. It's a calendar that tells you the date all the time, forever. Here's how to make one. Start with some cardboard with three little windows cut in it. On the left-hand side, you place the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And in those two windows, you put the date, whether it's the first, second, third, or whatever it is up to the 31st. Now you might say that sounds very easy, and it is. But what I want you to try and work out is what's the minimum number of letters and numbers that you need to make a perpetual calendar that really works? Well, have a look. What I've done here is to place three strips in those slots or windows, and you'll notice that each strip has just one, two, three, four, five, six spaces on it. In other words, we've got 18 spaces for letters and numbers. And I tell you that with just 18 spaces, you should be able to make a perpetual calendar that'll go on forever. Hmm, you might say, how are we going to do that? We need 31 numbers. OK, let's start on those 31 numbers. The numbers 1 to 0, that's going up to 9 and then back to 0, how many of each will we need? How many ones will we need at a time? Well, when we come to the first of the month, we'll only need one of them. Same with the 13th, the 18th, and so on, for the 21st and the 31st. Only one one at a time. But when it comes to which number? The 11th, you'll need two of them. So somewhere along every month, you're going to need two of those figures. Same with twos. When it comes to the 22nd, you'll need two of those. What about three? Will you ever need more than one of them? You'll need one for the third, one for the 13th, one for the 23rd, one for the 30th, one for the 31st, but it never gets to the 33rd, so you'll never need two of those. So we can get by with just one three. Similarly, we can get by with one four, one five, one six, one seven, one eight, one nine, and one zero. So the total number of windows that we need or spaces that we need for the figures is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, what do you know? We just happen to have on the yellow cards 12 spaces. So we can put those in now, can't we? On this one, we'll put one. Should we put another one next to it? No, because it means you'd never be able to get 11 because they'd be underneath one another. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the second strip, go back to one again. You need a second one of those somewhere along the line put your second two here, and then go up to the one that you reached on the first strip, number six, go on to the next one. Seven, eight, nine, zero. Now we've got all the numbers covered. So we can put those back in the perpetual calendar slots, simply by threading them in the back, and then down through the bottom slot there. There we are. And the same thing on the other side. Now, you might say, what about the days of the week? I think we might have some trouble there. Because if you know what I know, you know that the number of days in the week doesn't quite match the number of spaces we've got. Have a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days of the week, but on our orange card, we have only six slots. How are we gonna get by? There is something we can do that's quite simple. Have you worked it out yet? Look at the letters for the days of the week. What do you notice about two of them? You worked it out yet? Monday and Wednesday are almost the same, one's just upside down. So what you can do is simply leave out Wednesday, and I've done that on this card here. There we are, I've left out Wednesday, and when it comes to a Wednesday, all we need to do is to take out the strip and turn it upside down and use the Monday space. Well, let's imagine that today is Thursday the 27th. Can we make that date with a perpetual calendar? I think we can. We simply thread in the day of the week strip, Pull it down to Thursday, and then for the 27th, we put a 2 there and a 7 there. You can pin it up on the wall in the bedroom if you like, and remember every day to move the numbers on one space, and you'll have a calendar that will tell you the date forever. Mm -hmm.